Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, or welcome if you're new. My name is Melissa, I'm sitting in front of a window right now, and so if you see like little stripes of light, it's because I'm in front of my window. It's like the best place for some good lighting. And now the sun went down, so disregard. This week I'm doing a college week in my life. I actually just woke up, it's Monday morning. Today is Labor Day, so we don't actually have class today, which I am so happy about, hence why I slept in. I was catching up on The Bachelor, just drinking my coffee. It's been such a relaxing morning. I just spilled coffee all over myself. Love that. It's been a really nice Monday, but I have so much to do today, so I am gonna head out. I think I'm gonna meet Alyssa at Starbucks later today, and we're just gonna get a bunch of work done, even though we don't actually have class today. I'm not celebrating Labor Day or doing anything super exciting because there's a hurricane coming to Florida, and normally I would have two classes tomorrow, but my university canceled classes tomorrow because of the hurricane. It's actually hitting the other coast of Florida, so... I feel more sorry for them, um, you know, I just pray that they're okay and the people in the Bahamas, like I just, it's so horrible. Um, I'm really grateful that I shouldn't, shouldn't be affected by this hurricane, but we did get prepared for it just in case. If you watch my other vlog, then you already saw that. But yeah, this week's gonna be super busy. I haven't actually filmed a college week in my life. I've done plenty of college days in my life, but I haven't showed you guys what a week looks like, Monday through Friday. So that's what we're doing. I hope that you guys will click the subscribe button if you're not already. And I'm gonna go get in the shower. Let's get the day started. This is the foundation that I've been using. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream and I'm in the shade Medium Tan. This stuff gets everywhere though. It's actually not this, it's my concealer. Does anyone else's shape tape do this? Like it literally just starts coming out of the bottle when you get to the end of it and every time when you put it back in, it just comes out more. It's so frustrating. But I'm all dressed and ready for the day now. I just did a really simple like everyday makeup. I actually only put eyeliner in the very like outer corner. Just give myself a little wing. I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bigger instead of like lining the whole thing. Super simple, easy makeup and now we're gonna get going. I have to meet Alyssa at 1045 and it's already 1016 so I gotta go. studying for a couple of hours at Starbucks and I got a lot done. I have to make flashcards for basically all three chapters for my lab practical next week and it's just so much writing so like I can only do it for so long. I'm actually proud of myself. The first like whole hour we were in there we were just talking though and like catching up so pretty much only had like an hour of that but it's time for a break so we're gonna go get some lunch now. Alyssa and I had pita pit for lunch and then we parted ways. I just ran into Sephora really quick because I was looking for the Tarte Shape Tape but I literally forgot that they don't sell it at Sephora. It's only at Ulta and I hate that. It's so annoying because I have a Sephora closer to me than I do in Ulta but I always have to go to Ulta because of my Shape Tape and I don't think I've found a concealer that I like more than the Shape Tape. But while I was in there I did pick something up. I had been really wanting to try this Laneige lip sleeping mask. I know the berry one is really popular but I decided to get the apple one because it smelled a lot better. Oh this one's apple lime. It smells super good. I'm really excited to try it. I'll let you guys know what I think. I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for dinner because this is my first time trying this. It's like this frozen chicken fried rice from Innovation and I put sriracha all over it to make it spicy and it's so good. This is like the box that it comes in. Whenever Chad's on shift, I have to like come up with creative meals for myself and usually it ends up being something frozen. I know it's not the healthiest, but this is actually really tasty and it's white grilled chicken breast with long grain rice. So it's honestly not terrible. It's about six o'clock now. I have been studying for the last hour and I think I'm gonna keep going until about seven. I wanna show you guys my favorite playlist for when I'm studying. It's this all nighter one on Spotify. It's so freaking good for concentration. I love it so much. It's like the best one that I have found so far. That and brain food is my other favorite one. But I just made a stack of flashcards and then I'm working on memorizing the cardiac cycle which is how the blood flows through the heart. And I have to get through the rest of these slides and then we'll be done for tonight at least. I'm making a hot tea because I don't wanna drink coffee this late. I feel like I'll have trouble sleeping if I do. So I saw a nice cup of stress relief tea would be perfect. So this is pretty much how the rest of my Monday night's gonna go. I'm gonna finish studying and then I'm gonna watch The Bachelor in Paradise tonight and just chill after I'm finished with this. Um, 
days like today are definitely like productive i got a lot of studying done but i just feel so drained and i feel like i'm gonna fall asleep so quick but i'm actually doing a target giveaway tonight with some other bloggers on instagram so i have to stay up until nine which is not even late at all but i'm so tired i feel like i could fall asleep right now what I look like right now I just woke up like five minutes ago and I didn't want to get up this morning I'm so tired I think I mentioned it yesterday but classes are canceled today so normally I have two classes today and I have none now because of the hurricane not happy about the hurricane like it's horrible thing but it is nice because I have a day off from school today I still have to study a lot so I'm not gonna let it be a wasted day but I am gonna take advantage of the extra time this morning and I'm gonna clean my whole house and then when Chad gets home he's gonna go up in the attic and get our fall decor out because I need to decorate for fall. I've been dying to do it for the last few days, but we were preparing for the hurricane because we thought it was going to hit our coast, so we didn't bother getting all the fall decor out of the attic, but today is the day and I'm so excited. Chad and I decided to go get some breakfast because yesterday was like our five-year anniversary and we didn't celebrate because Chad had to work and the whole hurricane situation ruined it. Um, we're going to celebrate this weekend though. But we went and had our breakfast as you guys saw and now we're gonna go grocery shopping and then we're gonna head home and start cleaning and decorating for fall. So excited. The cleaning has begun. I got my broom here and I have Deep House Relax playing on Spotify. I'm sweeping everything. I'm mopping all our floors. I have a bunch I have to do. Um, Chad's outside pulling out the fall stuff out of the attic. So Chad's parents came over and they're helping us replace the rod on our like sliding glass door. We have like drapes up there and it broke a long time ago. We need to get it fixed so his dad came over to help us fix it. But in the meantime, I got my decorating pretty much almost finished. Um, and I went to Marshall's really quick to pick up some pillows because I really wanted some like fall pillows. I didn't have any last year and it bothered me because our other pillows have like flowers on them and it just, I don't know, it didn't look good with everything else being fall. They're so freaking soft. We got two of them for our couch. And then I also picked up this pumpkin candle by DW Home. I love this brand for candles. They honestly have like the best candles ever. Here's our TV stand, just some little leaves. And then I have these shelves over here. This picture is from Chad and I when we were in Georgia, up in the mountains at Vogel State Park. And this is what I got going on over here. I actually have this little sign that says gather. Um, so I might put that somewhere else and then hang up the letters that say gather. Maybe, we'll see. Here's my tablecloth that shrunk because I washed it. Um, so that kind of sucks, but I have my little vase with my orange sunflowers and these little pumpkins. This is my napkin holder. It's from TJ Maxx, I love it, so cute. Definitely gonna be on the hunt for a new tablecloth. This one's just really special because it was my um, dad's and he passed away, so. I just like every year I put it on here. It's honestly way too short for this table, as you can tell. Have this little bowl with some candy corn in it which we already got into as you can see in the kitchen i have this rug i've got my little pumpkin towels these two these two mugs i already had from last year but this one i just picked up it says trick or treat yourself and then the back is a pumpkin it's just black in the inside i love this so much don't mind all my applesauces i love applesauce just my favorite snack ever I'm weird. And then I have some little orange lights back here. So that's pretty much it for decorations so far. I have a few more things in my bin out there that I haven't taken out yet. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I'm figuring out what I want to do this year because I'm not going to go as crazy as I did last year. I have like purple string lights too and I put them like all above our cabinets and like when you would come in the kitchen at night it was just all lit up with string lights and I feel like it was a little overboard so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do like a little bit this year but I'm so excited. I wish so badly that like Walmart had pumpkins but it's only September 3rd so they don't have any pumpkins yet. Otherwise, I'd totally have a pumpkin right now and it would be sitting outside by my door. Heading to the gym to go meet Alyssa. We're gonna work out our legs today. I'm just wearing this sports bra that's from Target, this shirt's from Asics. Um, these, I every time when I'm wearing these, I get asked where they're from and I literally don't know because I think I got them from, um, I think I got them from TJ Maxx like a really long time ago and like it just has this on it and I don't know what brand that is, so. And then my Adidas. 
Good morning guys, it's the next day and it's actually 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to leave for work in like 15 minutes and I work a 12 hour shift today so I obviously won't be vlogging today but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and I have one class tomorrow but I also have SI in the morning so it'll be a pretty busy day. We're gonna be back on campus, school is open again, um, obviously hurricane didn't affect us so yeah, I'll talk with you guys soon. Good morning guys, today is Thursday and it's about 9 o'clock. I have SI at 10.30 so I'm getting ready to leave the house now. And then I have a little break and then I have college algebra at 1.30. So I'm probably just going to stay on campus. I have so much studying to do. You guys already know that like I've been so stressed out because my first exam is coming up. And it doesn't matter really how much I prepare myself, I'm still going to feel like I'm not ready because I just don't like taking tests and I never fully feel like I'm ready. <laughs> Um, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'm definitely trying to use all of my time that I do have left to prepare for this So yeah, we're gonna make a coffee at home though because I'm gonna get another coffee before I go to college algebra But I'll get that one on campus. So I figure I'll make my first coffee here and Me consuming too much caffeine. That's a whole nother thing. Okay. I've got my backpack all packed up I have to just bring my AMP book because I have to do flashcards for this my pencil bag. Sometimes I question if I have too many colored pens, but I honestly do use them all. I like to make my notes look really pretty. And I haven't been putting my laptop in the laptop bag because this backpack is so padded that I feel like it's just good enough without it. I don't remember if I've ever showed you guys how I make my coffee at home whenever I do take it to go. I just use one of these reusable Starbucks cups and then this cold brew coffee by Khalifa. This is at Target, Publix, and that's all I know because those are the only two places I get it from. But it's super, super good and there's no added sugar. It's just black. And then I add some of this almond milk creamer by Silk. It's delicious. I don't add anything else to it because this already sweetens it. I picked up this giant box of Annie's homegrown like bunny snacks whenever I thought the hurricane was coming as a hurricane snack and seriously has so many in it. So this is going to be my like midway through the class snack, the cheddar bunnies. It also has these in it which are so good. They're kind of like Teddy Grahams but I actually like them more. Chad decided to come and meet me for lunch and we got Chick-fil-A which what else is new? I'm so excited. I got a spicy chicken sandwich with pepper jack. So I got out of class around like 2.30. I actually ended up leaving college algebra early because I was not really getting anything out of it and she doesn't grade attendance or anything. There's only a TA and a professor walking around. Today was like our review day. Next class is our test. I thought it would be better off to use my time by going to the math lab and getting help from the tutors in there. So I finished all of my homework sections except for like three problems which I'm waiting because it's absolute value and I just needed some help with it. I almost had a mental breakdown in class because she handed out the review paper and I was like what is this I don't remember any of this and I honestly don't like I feel like everything I learned with the TA last week just like went out the window and I don't remember any of it so it really sucks I know I'm gonna have to work really hard and I'm probably I don't want to like set myself up for failure but probably not gonna do the best on my first test because there's just like not enough time I have three exams all on the same day so I've been home for like an hour now and I'm actually about to take a nap and it is, what time is it? 5.43, which is a very late time to be taking a nap, but I'm really tired and I have so much more work that I need to get done tonight. And I, my legs are like super sore from working out the other day. So I thought I would just take a little nap, like 20 minutes. Then I'm going to get up and start studying. I'm going to eat dinner and then I'm going to go back to school tonight. I haven't actually gone to school like that late this semester yet, um, but the library is open until 1 a.m. I definitely don't plan on staying that late, but I'm just going to go like after dinner, get a coffee and put like at least three hours in. I just have so much material and I'm just like over the top stressed out right now. I don't want to seem like I'm complaining and I'm not happy and I'm not in a good mood like I am. I definitely am, but like... It's just a lot to manage right now being someone that's working and doing school at the same time which i'm sure a lot of you guys are doing that as well so we're in this together but good night i am taking a much needed nap it's 7 30 i'm about to head to the library thought i'd show you guys my super cute look tonight uh for this lovely study sesh this is the look i wasn't gonna wear sweatpants but then i thought about it and i was like honestly who really cares it's 
by the time I get there it's gonna be like after 8 and I want to be comfy so Chad made some crock pot chicken tacos so I'm trying to shred the chicken up and have a couple before I go it smells amazing it doesn't look that good but I swear to you it is finally back home and I just made some hot tea. I'm actually gonna drink this and then go straight to bed because it's almost midnight and I have to wake up early tomorrow. Uh, but if you guys are not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.